Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to create your AI clone so you can save hours on studio setups and camera equipment while creating content. I've been experimenting with AI avatars for a while now, and let me tell you, they have uh, drastically increased my productivity in content creation. I will also tell you about the common mistakes I made during my first attempts so you can save time and avoid failed videos. The process is easy, but it does have some complex parts. And the best part is I've received multiple messages from people asking me if it's an AI avatar, which is an incredible proof of how high quality the results are. Says so, let's get started. To create my own avatar, I prefer to use Heygen. Let's register a new account. At the moment, they offer you a free custom avatar, which is what we're going to use. It's great for making your first test and you have uh, some free renewable credits to make videos and re-upload your avatar. So let's create our first avatar. In our dashboard, we go to avatar and select video avatar. You have the option of creating a still avatar or a motion avatar. Since I want to create content with it, I'll use the still version. We have instructions for making a good video available in text or video format. While they are very clear, let me tell you about some mistakes that I made in my first recordings. First, I was too still in front of the camera. I seemed shy or robotic because I was afraid to be expressive. Also, I did overthink what I said a lot. Instead, just try to maintain fluent speech with pauses. And finally, since I was not thinking too much about what I said, I was telling sad or weird stories that made me have weird face gestures. So avoid these because your avatar will very vividly replicate your expressions. So here is the video I made this time. Hi. My name is Emmanuel Canton and I'm here to explain you how to make an AI avatar. First of all, you need to take into account that you have to, good, you have, to have a good lighting. The second step is to have a really good quality camera that can film HD, full HD or 4K. Once your video is ready, you can upload it to the platform. You select all the required checks and then you record the video giving your consent to use the footage to create the avatar. After that, the avatar will start uploading. While it's being processed, you'll have the option to create up to 99 uh, additional looks, which means uh, different scenarios, clothing and positions for the same avatar. Now we have our first avatar ready. But first, let me share something important. I'm creating AI courses to teach people how to use AI to enhance their content and assets in the easiest possible way. I use the same platforms to generate my content, create images for my website and design my portfolio. You'll find a link in the description. I'm sure you'll love them. Now that we have our avatar, I'm going to switch to a paid account so I can export full HD videos that lasts up to five minutes. Let's select our avatar. By the way, one of my current avatars looks is the one I'm using for making this video. That is an example of how I use my AI avatar to create content. And if you stay until the end of the video, I'll tell you another secret. Getting back to our video, you can select which look of your avatar you want to use. Regarding the voice, you can choose between the text a script to voice, recording your voice or uploading a recording. For this first video, let's use the script. Now let's repeat the process using a vertical screen video and then let's use an audio file I've recorded. After some minutes, both are ready. Let's see how they turned out. But before that, remember to like this video 
and subscribe for more content on AI design and growth. Hi, this is Emmanuel Canton and this is my AI avatar. In the past video, you learned how to create a prompt in a structured way using a formula. So as I told you before, here is the other secret. My voice in this video is an AI voice made with other software. It saved me a lot of time to make this video and if you want to know more about it, let me know in the comments.